What's up guys, Jody here. Today, I'm gonna go over Shopify Plus's checkout.liquid. This is the liquid template on how you customize your checkout page. If you have Shopify regular, you'll notice that all of the checkout situations look a little bit similar. But if you're a higher level merchant, you might wanna customize your checkout page so that you get a different user experience. And it's, it's similar across your entire brand. Super powerful features, so I'm gonna show you how to do that next. Okay, so you've upgraded to Plus and you want to customize your checkout and you're not totally sure how to do it because when you log into your Shopify dashboard, really the only thing you're seeing that's different that shows that you're on Plus versus Shopify regular is this little logo in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to show you how you do a customized checkout once you've gone through the process of upgrading to Plus. So the way that this works is it's like everything else, it's theme based. So if you go to online store, and then you go to themes. And then you go into your edit HTML and CSS. You're gonna to come to uh, your editor. Now, one of the things that's a little bit tricky for first timers is how do I get to the theme template for the checkout? Um, I don't see it in um, this page. And typically people think they're gonna to go to add new template or look for a template in there or that sort of stuff. But actually, where you wanna find it is add new layout. So when you click add new layout, you'll now have the access to this drop down menu, which allows you to select a checkout layout. Now because there's only one type of checkout, you can't set up multiple ones. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go create layout and it's only going to give us this option. Create the layout and then it's going to generate us out some liquid code. Now there's a couple things in here to keep in mind um, and I'm going to go over what each individual one are. Um, so the first one is page title, obviously, and content for header. Um, those are the things that get pulled from Shopify when building in the, um, the checkout page. Um, same with your checkout status and your checkout script. So these are when you click on customize theme and you are under um, the checkout button at the bottom, here is where these things are being pulled from. So this is, this is those built-in settings for checkout. And basically it gives you this look and feel, which is the pretty standardized Shopify layout. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna go back to edit HTML. We're gonna go and add some quick HTML code in there so you can see how we can start to modify and uh, change out that checkout uh, process. So each one of these um, little uh, liquid tags that are in the ellipses, they all need to be included um, and you can remove them, some of them, some like like content, logo and um, order summary and stuff like that. But it all, it is recommended that you keep all of them in here and each one has its own different thing, which I will go over in future videos when we start really drilling into Shopify Plus features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick demo of how to change some of the content on that page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little heading on the right hand side that says order details on the sidebar. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to find where the sidebar content is sitting. And I'm going to add in a div here and I'm going to give and make it an H1 and I'm going to go order details. Close that off and close off the div. And then when I save it, and I come back over to my checkout and I refresh it because I'm in the active theme. What I should see is a rendered version now that have order details. So this kind of customization and this kind of uh, flexibility when you're on Plus is super, super powerful. So you can create full branded checkout experiences so that customers never know that you've actually switched over to a Shopify type store. There's a lot of great things you can do for that. There's also checkout scripts, which allow you to modify different shipping options and payment options, and you can really get granular with that kind of stuff. So that's basically a quick demo of what happens when you're on Shopify, uh, Shopify Plus that is, and then we can go in in future videos and, and modify things around. Thanks guys for watching the video. It was just a little toe dip into the pool of what is Shopify Plus. Uh, remember, if you need any help, you can uh, click on the links down below and book a call with me. I'd be happy to walk you through any of the features that you might need to know or do any custom work for you. And uh, other than that, uh, you guys have a great week and we'll talk to you next week.